Actress Sally Struthers, known for her roles in TV sitcoms and her advocacy work, has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her qualities as a performer have turned her into a timeless figure in the hearts of many. Interestingly, there are lesser-known stories about her that still interest audiences. Feel free to share your favorite memories or personal experiences with this classic actor in the comments below. And stay tuned, as there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about her coming up in this video. In acting, Sally Struthers really stands out. Her presence on screen captured audiences' attention for decades. She's worth celebrating for her big impact on the entertainment industry. Sally Struthers showed her talent and dedication, which audiences loved. Her performances touched viewers' hearts and left a lasting impression. Throughout her career, she showed she could play many different characters really well. Sally Struthers' work is loved by fans all around the world. He continues to be remembered for his excellent acting. Sally Struthers, most famous for playing Gloria Bunker Stivic in All in the Family, had a tough time legally in 1974 when she tried to end her contract but couldn't. Even though she was well known from the show, she had trouble finding work later on. After All in the Family ended, finding acting jobs was hard. But she didn't give up. She found new chances to show how good she was. In July 2005, she played Dolly Levy in Hello, Dolly! at the Lyric Theater in Oklahoma City. People loved seeing her back on stage. Then, in March 2011, she was Matron Mama Morton in Chicago in Kansas City. This showed she could do different roles well. She kept acting in different things, always ready to try new challenges. Whether it's on stage or in movies, she always impresses people with her talent and charm. Sally Struthers' story shows how she never gives up, inspiring others in the acting world. This was Sally Struthers, best known for her role as Gloria Bunker Stivic in All in the Family, recently spoke out against the idea of rebooting the show. She believes that trying to recreate the magic of the original series would be pointless because it was a product of its time and had a perfect mix of groundbreaking content and a fantastic cast. Struthers thinks Norman Lear, the creator, should enjoy life instead of trying to revive old shows due to his age. However, her on-screen husband, Rob Reiner, supported the reboot and helped with casting. In the past, Struthers clashed with Carol O'Connor, who played her father on the show, when CBS attempted to spin off her character into her own show. O'Connor felt unsupported by Struthers during this time and refused to be part of the spin-off. Both O'Connor and Struthers took breaks from the show to negotiate higher pay. In summary, Sally Struthers, known for her role as Gloria Bunker Stivic, doesn't support the idea of rebooting All in the Family. She believes the original series and its cast were unique and cannot be replicated. Despite past conflicts, Struthers remains a significant figure in TV history. Sally Struthers, a well-known actress, faces significant struggles, including pressure to maintain youthfulness. In her industry, there's immense emphasis on looking young. This pressure can be intense for actress-actresses like Sally. They feel compelled to undergo various treatments to preserve their youthful appearance, often facing scrutiny and criticism if they don't meet certain standards. Aside from the pressure to stay young, Sally, like many others, encounters other challenges in life. These may include personal issues, career setbacks, or navigating relationships. Despite her success, Sally is not immune to the ups and downs of life. It's important to recognize that behind the glamour of the entertainment industry, actress-actresses are ordinary people dealing with everyday struggles. Sally Struthers, despite her fame, is no exception. She faces pressures and challenges just like anyone else. In conclusion, Sally Struthers, like many in the entertainment industry, contends with the pressure to stay young and other significant struggles in life. Despite her success on screen, she grapples with the same issues that affect people everywhere. Sally Struthers credits Carol O'Connor as her favorite acting mentor and best friend. In All in the Family, she portrayed Gloria Bunker Stivic. The Bunker's neighbors, Frank and Irene Lorenzo, disappeared from the series without explanation. Vincent Gardenia, who played Frank, quit due to personal disputes with Norman Lear. Betty Garrett continued as Irene until the middle of season six, leaving to care for a sick relative. On Laverne and Shirley, she acted alongside Rob Reiner's wife Penny Marshall, who had auditioned for the Gloria role, but was passed over in favor of Sally Struthers. During interviews for the Archive of American Television and Radio, writers Bob Schiller and Bob Weiskopf admitted that Carol O'Connor was egotistical and demanding to work with. 
They respected his acting and writing talents, but believed he was manipulative. O'Connor's disputes with Norman Lear and CBS were seen as ploys to gain a higher salary and more control over the show. Sally Struthers and Rob Reiner committed to other projects before O'Connor agreed to return for a ninth season. O'Connor's demand to abandon the live studio audience for the ninth season gave him more leverage over script changes. This led to Gene Stapleton's decision not to return for the 11th season. O'Connor's demanding ways led to Martin Balsam and Anne Mira leaving the show after its second and third seasons. CBS canceled the show unexpectedly after its fourth season wrapped in 1983, attributed to O'Connor's behavior. Sally Struthers, known for playing Gloria Bunker Stivic in All in the Family, displayed her versatility by acting in two shows at the same time in 1971-1972. Apart from her role in All in the Family, she also voiced Pebbles Flintstone in The Pebbles and Bam Bam Show. In 1983, CBS unexpectedly ended Archie Bunker's place, despite its good ratings. There were rumors that this decision came from issues with Carol O'Connor, who played Archie Bunker. The cancellation might have been influenced by disagreements over the spin-off series Gloria, which O'Connor was initially part of but later distanced himself from. Sally Struthers revealed that O'Connor refused any further involvement in the spin-off after CBS's decisions. Despite being 18th in ratings for the season, Gloria didn't impress critics or viewers and was canceled like Archie Bunker's place. Even before Rob Reiner and Sally Struthers left, no cast member appeared in every episode of All in the Family. Struthers' portrayal of Gloria left a lasting impact on television history. Sally Struthers is different from her co-stars on All in the Family because she's not from New York City like the others. This gives her a unique perspective. Even though she's not from the city where the show takes place, she fits in well with the rest of the cast. She's good at acting in different ways. In October 2008, she acted in a play called Nonsense where she played Mother Superior. This was different from her usual TV work and showed she's good at acting on stage too. Besides acting, she also did something important for a group called the Christian Children's Fund. She talked on TV to help kids who needed help. She did this a lot in the 1980s. She cared about making the world better. Sally Struthers has done a lot in her career, like acting on TV and stage and helping kids. She has made a big difference and inspired others. This text was, Sally Struthers became famous for her role as Gloria Bunker Stivic on the TV show All in the Family. The show was supposed to end after season 8 with a finale titled All in the Family, The Stivics Go West. However, Carol O'Connor and CBS wanted it to continue, so it did. Yet, Rob Reiner and Sally Struthers didn't come back for more. In December 2004, she portrayed Miss Hannigan from Annie again at the Nevada Conservatory Theater. After departing from All in the Family, Rob Reiner didn't cast any of his former co-stars in his movies. Unlike him, Penny Marshall and Ron Howard did include their former co-stars in their projects after achieving success. However, it seemed like Reiner moved on from Sally Struthers, Carol O'Connor, and Gene Stapleton.